For the past 30 years, it's been a staple in the community. But the family-run business is changing hands for good. It's time for Act Two or the sequel. Len Binning, his wife Deborah, and their children have operated the movie mill since it opened its doors back in 1994. Benning says two years ago, two local business associates approached the family about buying the movie mill. Uh, they knew that uh, things were a little rough in COVID and I was having some health challenges at the time and, and we sold, uh, but we retained a small portion for our children. And so uh, even though we sold two and a half years ago, we've still been very involved as a family, all five of us. But now with more health challenges arising, Benning says the family is ready for their second act and will let the new owners take the director's chair permanently by the end of the month. And we're just at peace. We just feel it's time to turn that switch off finally. What started as a risky business venture for the Binnings 30 years ago ended up becoming a Lethbridge legacy. We didn't know our heads from our behinds at the time. And I thought, you know what, this is a risk, but we're young. And if we have to declare bankruptcy, so be it. Our parents were a little doubtful. There were a lot of people who were doubtful and were happy to have proved them wrong or happy to have become a very vital part of the community. Uh, we're voted best theater every year. As the Bennings are set to make their final curtain call, there's a sense of nostalgia for them as the movie mill has felt like family. I think we're all sad. I mean, it, it is like a, a, a fourth child and, and we're now sending them off for adoption. <laughs> so we hope the new foster parents are, are great and, and we're confident they will be. For Bridge City News, I'm Jeanette Roche.